Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and today is the best day of my life because I am here with you guys and I hope it's the best day of your life too. So if you're wondering what was causing my hair to tangle girl, then just keep on watching. video for such a long time but I really wanted to get to the bottom of this like I just didn't know why certain shampoos were tangling my hair so honey your girl had to reach out to a scientist somebody that was studying like products hair products and stuff like that so I'm gonna introduce you to my girl right now so I am not like bringing her on or anything, but I am going to tell you guys about her. Her name is Joy. Her name on Instagram is Joy the Beauty Chemist. So she is actually in school right now um, to be a cosmetic chemist. So she definitely knows a lot about hair products. Um, I think even like makeup products, skincare products, she knows about it all. You guys should definitely follow her. Her name is Joy the Beauty Chemist on Instagram and she has like a great array of content. And guess what y'all? My girl is relaxed. Yes, she has relaxed hair. Her hair is gorgeous. She also shows relaxed hair content on her page too. So that's like a two for one. I think you guys are going to love her. Um, and yeah, she's definitely the bomb. And me and her uh, were like corresponding to each other. And she sent me some really valuable information. So with her help and a little bit of my own research, I came up with this theory so this is it i have my phone and my notepad because i need to like read these things to you guys and let you guys know what how it happened and, and stuff like that so i reached out to her i told her that certain shampoos that i'm using is tangling my hair really bad and i needed help so um she told me to send her a list of shampoos that work and then send her some that tangle my hair. So um, the Care Care line, you guys know I stopped using Care Care, the Thermal Wander Cleansing and the Care Care Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. Both of those tangled my hair immensely. Um, and then I just told her a couple, um, the Urban Hydration Avocado Oil line also made my hair tangle. Um, and then I told her the ones that work. So ORS Creamy Aloe Shampoo, Silk Elements, Olaplex, and Motrin Motions Neutralizing Shampoo. Those are all shampoos that I love, that I use all the time, and they never tangle my hair. So um, she sent me an email with the results of all of that. So basically she said that the shampoos that I was using that were aiding in helping my hair and wasn't tangling, um, which was the ORS, the Olaplex, all of that stuff. She says that the beginning of the ingredients list had a lot of products that would help with slip. So those products, you guys know that when you look at the ingredients list, the products that are listed first are take up most of the formula. So if it says water, then it has most of the formula is surrounded by water and i'm just using that as an example but the first ingredients in olaplex is water in um their shampoo so when i started looking on my own i initially started with looking at the ingredients and as she said the all the shampoos that i mentioned have pretty much the same um almost the same ingredients they have a lot of like ingredients and she said she also didn't find anything that stood out that would be considered bad ingredients for your hair and same thing with me i was kind of confused and that's why i reached out for her help you know to see like why am i getting this problem so she also mentioned that if I had high porosity hair, high porosity hair is more prone to tangles because the cuticle is lifted and rubbing against other cuticles, um, you know, that can cause problems. So initially I was like, okay, I don't think I have high porosity hair. I feel like my porosity is pretty normal. Um, and I know my porosity isn't low, so it's either 
normal or high which I feel like it's normal but I also haven't checked it in a while so I feel like I need to check my hair porosity but um, I decided to also look at the porosity of the hair products that I was using so Olaplex hair um, porosity is 6 uh, to 6.5 and that is the shampoo the pH of the shampoo now a reason why I love Olaplex in this video before I even get into it this video is not sponsored but I just honestly love Olaplex so Olaplex products all on their website is so helpful like the products tell you the pH balance what's in the products how to use them it's like a whole page of how to use their products and they have that for each product that Olaplex sells and you guys know this is kind of side topic but they just came out with a new product um, it's a moisturizer and I'm super excited about that but like I said any product that you try from Olaplex they have extensive ingredients instructions um, just information on it is very extensive and it's all on their website so we all know that the normal pH of the hair is around four, four and a half to five and a half. Um, but like I said, the pH of Olaplex's shampoo is six to six and a half. So I feel like that's kind of close to the normal pH. But of course, for a shampoo to do what it needs to do, it has to alter the pH of the hair. Um, so kind of had a hard time finding the pH of any other shampoos that I use so comment down below guys let me know do you know the pH of your shampoos that you use um if the company doesn't say it like do you uh try to figure it out yourself like how do you go about that but I know shampoos that are sulfate free or shampoos that have sulfate or uh, baking sodas or anything like that it's gonna you know have like a higher pH balance and that's why certain shampoos say sulfate free and those are supposed to be better for you but all sulfates are not bad sulfates so just make sure you guys know like you know what you're doing in that area but she just sent me like a list of good information so I'm just gonna kind of go through this with you really quickly guys so she she um kind of wrote out like questions for me which i thought was amazing so she says how can shampoo lead to hair tangling other than the physical motion of rubbing shampoo into your hair shampoo can cause tangling if the formula is too drying when hair is stripped it isn't well lubricated which causes the hair to tangle up so that is kind of self-explanatory because you know of course when you're shampooing you're kind of rubbing in your scalp which can cause tangles but also um i don't like using stripping like shampoos that really really strip your hair and that's why i love ors creamy aloe shampoo because not only does it clean your hair but it's also creamy and it gives you that slip that you need to where your hair will not tangle so that's why i love that shampoo that's why i love olaplex that's why i love motions that's why i love silk elements um all my favorites that's why i love them because they um have a purpose but they also don't hurt your hair at the same time she listed some ingredients to look out for that may make your hair tangle so of course alcohols and sulfates so specifically short chain alcohols like alcohol dent and isoprol alcohol so i'll leave these words on the screen because i know um i may be saying them wrong but i want you guys to know um what words i'm using so the sulfates that she listed sodium laurel sulfates and the sodium laureth sulfates can also be drying so those are two that can dry your hair out and you guys know that sulfates are added to shampoo to make it sudsy but like I said um, you can still get suds with shampoos that don't have sulfates and like I said all sulfates are not bad um, you just have to be careful with the ones that you do use and um, know which ones hurt you which I will also leave those on the screen before I continue she did get her sources from different places so she got some from the natural curly .com, curly curls guide natural curly Com. and like I said guys um, these are all things that um, I did research on my own but she's definitely helping me by putting this all at one place and like I said um, she's in school for this type of stuff so 
not only did she get this from her own understanding and work in school but also you know via the internet so she did list out ways to um, reduce tangling while shampooing your hair detangle hair before shampooing you guys know that I always tell you guys this like it's super important because you do not want to get in the shower and wet your hair with tangled hair that's just recipe for disaster um, make sure your hair is completely wet before adding shampoo to it hmm and that's interesting guys because I always make sure that my hair is completely wet but um, I'm pretty sure that if your if your hair does not have that water to aid in the lubrication from the shampoo that can cause extra tangles so that's a, a gem right there I'm glad she added that in there avoid using water that is too hot and will dehydrate your hair that's super important as well um, usually when I'm washing my hair I do not turn it on like my temperature of water that I would use for my bath um, it just never feels right but that's also true you can definitely dehydrate your hair when you are shampooing so that's super important as well avoid applying too much shampoo at a time using too much can dry your hair out and that's a good tip as well guys um I don't usually go in with too much shampoo sometimes I may add some and then if I need to add some to other areas I will um I think we kind of OD on conditioner but never shampoo I don't know guys let me don't know down below do you usually OD on shampoo or do you just leave that to the conditioner to kind of go overboard use milder shampoo formulas that don't make your hair feel stripped um, amp up your pre-wash rinse out and leave-in conditioners to soften your hair oh honey yes you guys know I love a good pre-poo and I've been doing pre-poos a lot here on my channel so I'm super excited that she added that in there because I've definitely been doing that close cuticles by rinsing with cold or cool water that's so true you guys know that um, closing your cuticles after you rinse out your deep conditioner or your regular conditioner is super important you want to close those cuticles to make sure that you're keeping that moisture inside of your hair and that will definitely reduce the tangles um, shampoo the hair in sections I usually shampoo in two sections some people shampoo in four sections um, I've seen some natural curly girls here on YouTube shampoo with like um, loose braids in their hair or plaits just to keep them in sections and you know whatever works for you make sure you guys do that focus shampoo on the scalp I definitely agree with this as well I usually just focus on the scalp on any regular wash day and just let the shampoo rinse down the length of my hair the only time that I'll go in and actually shampoo and scrub the length of my hair is on relaxer day um, runoff the oils the petroleums the the base creams that we put on our hair during relaxer day i don't want to have that residue into my hair so i always start from the roots when i'm washing the relaxer out but i also get in there on the ends and make sure that i scrub dub dub the ends as well don't rub your hair vigorously and pile it on top of your head like a shampoo commercial <laughs> be gentle that was cute um wow for sure like I never I don't put my head upside down and I think that's actually really important now that I'm thinking about it the reason why I don't wash my hair in the sink is because you have to bend down and your hair is going in the opposite direction of what it would normally fall with gravity and I feel like when you're washing your hair and it's wet putting it on top of your head and or going upside down is kind of going against the grain if that makes sense at a hair salon you sit back and you let them wash your hair in this direction still a natural direction that your hair would go in um you know with gravity um when i'm in the shower i'm washing my hair downward like this with gravity i just have never believed in washing my hair upside down i don't do that um it definitely creates a lot of tangles for me if that works for you then it works for you but I do not like doing that and I think that was a great one I think it was super cute that she said like a, like a, a shampoo commercial 
because I didn't actually like read every single thing um, so that was my first time seeing that so she also added which ingredients can add slip in help detangle your hair so fatty alcohols not to be confused with alcohols previously previously listed fatty alcohols have longer carbon chains which give them a oily or slippery feel which gives slip they are also emollients which mean they have the ability to soften the skin and hair some fatty alcohols include sterile alcohol cetyl alcohol cetyl alcohol so um we all know that or if you don't know emollients are definitely um things that we like we want emollients in our products um a lot of products that have like um, moisturizers or slip or creams have emollients in it so um that's definitely a good one uh, vegetable oil oils and butter oils such as olive oil coconut oil and butter like shea butters and cocoa butter coat the hair strands smoothing the cuticles and allowing strands to slide past each other with reduced friction um that's very true guys and you guys know that um shea butter such, such as cocoa butter shea butter coconut oil olive oil those are all natural um or they can be natural resources that we get from the earth so the more natural it is the better because it doesn't have all the chemicals and stuff in it um so if you guys are looking for something to detangle or to add slip to your hair i think that um you know things like that are good and that's why some people also may pre-poo with the coconut oil because it allows your strands to slide past each other um so conditioning surfac surfactants act on the surface of the hair to smooth the cuticle and increase increase manageability um examples of that is behentriminal chloride and centriminal chloride i'm gonna leave those words on the screen honey um so hydrolyzed proteins are hydrolyzed proteins are proteins that have been split into smaller units they fill in the gaps of raised cuticles which smooth the cuticle types of hydrolyzed proteins hydrolyzed silk proteins hydrolyzed wheat proteins and hydrolyzed soy proteins um also she's listed detangling herbs these herbs form a film on the hair that provides slips and conditions the hair these herbs include silkery m flaxseed and marshmallow root so she provided such great information guys i loved um you know collabing with her on this which i don't think i even told her that i was going to make a video on it or maybe i did but make sure you guys show her some love Follow her over on Instagram. Uh, cannot wait until she finishes school. Can't wait till um, she's done so I can see like what she decides to do and go into. I just love when black women are in the industry and behind the scenes um, being a chemist and doing things like that. I absolutely love it. And I hope one day I get to do that as well, you know, just in the field that I'm in, um, you know, I'm a cosmetologist, but I would love to one day maybe create my own products and really be behind the scenes and get through the chemistry part of it. So um, chemistry was not my favorite subject, but when it comes to beauty and hair, I think I would love to um, get into that. So why have these shampoos have been tangling my hair, y'all? I honestly don't know but I can say that I'm going to check out the pH of my hair I'm gonna do a new strand test from some of the um, shedded hair that I have and see if I am high porosity because that may honestly be what it is um, and like I said I've checked my porosity years ago and the porosity was pretty normal so I'm going to check my porosity again and, you know, just kind of steer clear of um, trying new products, stick to what I know. Um, and yeah, because I love the products that I use and that they serve all different purposes. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it answers some questions for you. It definitely gave me a clear understanding of my hair, even though I don't know the direct cause. Um, this definitely got me in a step closer. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 
Mwah.